Hello there, this is Space Hunter 5, welcome back to episode 3 of our Bohemian Let's Play series, where last episode we went to war with Hungary and took a pretty large chunk, you know, almost an entire, uh, well, an entire duchy off them, or state in this, uh, in, in EU4. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and push them under a PU today, once we are truce is up, it is up in 83, 4 years, so we'll go ahead and just continue fast forwarding. We are getting ready to lose an ally of the Teutonic Order from Poland. They are going to go ahead and annex them. So we need to look elsewhere for a potential ally. Poland, you have Hungary, and the Ottomans hate you. So it looks like the Ottomans and us are going to be around, for, well, together for quite some time. You are actually doing pretty well. You're going to go eat Albania. Then we'll go ahead and ally you as another buffer state against Hungary and the Ottomans. Potentially. Let's see, we can go ahead and start going for an idea group. We should probably honestly focus uh, admin now off of our Diplo focus since we did finish our Diplo idea group. And we're going to go ahead and go for religious ideas. Let's go ahead and take that now. We don't currently have anything to convert, but we will in the future. Looks like Poland has a couple of provinces that have converted to our religion. The wonderful and prominent site faith. Do you have a couple loans? Uh, how many ducats in debt are we? Ah, just only 500 ducats. I guess we'll go ahead and lose the taxes, which means we're just gonna, you know, take on more debt. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. We can actually demand land. Go ahead and do that. Do you actually get any additional benefits? But that's okay. We'll get it next time. We are improving with you. Ottomans, you're happy with us. Well, and you're still fighting this war. There are Teutons. Let's see. Administrative ideas. 50 admin points is very nice and lucrative. Venice, you're happy with us. Who hates Austria? Or Hungary? Poland. Yeah, that doesn't really help us. People who hate Austria. Maybe England? We can go ahead and send a diplomat over there. We have a couple spare. Prove with Brandenburg. They actually don't despise us that much. Ease tension, yeah. Additional six. Oh, there's the first Imperial Edict, and you instantly have five Imperial Authority somehow. When you pass a reform, you lose all of it, so I don't know how you manage to do that. Uh, currently, Austria would not be elected. It would be Brandenburg, which... We'll go ahead and vote for Austria. We want to keep Austria just so they can keep pumping out Imperial reforms. So that way we can uh, benefit from them later. Let's go ahead and take Military Tech 7. Get us cannons. And we'll gain additional mi missionary. We don't currently have anything we can convert. But it never hurts to have it, and it gets us closer to increased infantry combat ability. Which will be very important for whenever we fight in the future. We don't share the dynasty of anyone. Which is a little disappointing. Actually, we're going to save the dynasty as uh, Wallachia. Perfect. We can actually forcefully pew them. Well, at least there's potential for that. He's 13, he has a weak claim, although we have a weak claim as well. But we're not the same dynasty yet. How's the Imperial Authority grow? 0 0.05. We're the only heretic currently. Alright, seems appropriate. Alrighty, Hungary, when is our truce? Oh, it's getting very close. November of next year. We need 30 ducats in order to actually build up our army. What's current combat with? 24, so we're a little bit overbuilt. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and take out two infantry, just so we're at the current combat width. And I would like to uh, get a cannon. We are going to be barely able to afford a cannon, but a cannon we will afford, nonetheless. <clears throat> You're only allied to Brandenburg, so that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Probably just invade Brandenburg and let the Ottomans come in, we're not going to give them any land. Because Hungary will be a PU. Maybe we should also make Hungary a little happier with us. 
Give us a little bit of time to improve their relations with us. Teutons are finally gone. Faceting, gem cutting, masters in uh, Constantinople. Or Constantine, depending on who you are. Uh, or I guess which re who owns the, the land currently. Hmm. Be another. I'd rather not. You have enough debt. You can go ahead and ally you. Let's do that. Albania is uh, OPM now. Tiny little guy. It's actually sure you can have access. Not a problem. November. Oh, we still gotta wait a whole 12 months before we can go to war with Hungary. I was so excited to go to war with them. Getting Croatia as a PU as well, along with uh, Hungary at the same time, is it's all right. I mean, it's I'm not going to be jumping up and down for it, but they do have uh, three whole units. Can almost afford our cannon. Excuse me. The goal is to have a cannon by the time we declare war in Hungary. And we're pretty much just going to go sit on Pest. Because we have the two important forts. Thames is gone. So they really only have one fort here and here. So three forts in total. They're not exactly the strongest Hungary. Did a pretty good job uh, smacking them down. We need 30 ducats. How much do we have? Oh, we had 30.6, but apparently that wasn't good enough. Now, what is the real reason why you don't like me? Arrival minus 100. Allied to rival minus 25, and hostile relations minus 50. Yeah, that that would do it. All right, we're just waiting on the cannon. Let's go ahead and stop drilling. There is our truce with Hungary. Where are you allied to? Just Brandenburg? We just got our cannon. Who would actually join us? Would the Ottomans join us? Venice and Wallachia would. The Ottomans would not. However, having Venice join uh, does sway it quite a bit. Now we'll go ahead and get them as PU. Declare war. We'll bring. I'm not going to give you any land. I probably won't need you as an ally though after this war. Now we'll go for restore the union. Now we'll go after Brandenburg first. This is not our current leader, which is good. Uh, Brandenburg has a tiny army. Smack that. And there goes the Brandenburgian army. Since they're already uh, dissipated, let's go ahead and do a little bit of carpet sieging. Yeah, we're, get, we're gonna get the fat loot right now, which is great. Then we'll let everyone else deal with the. Uh, Hungry. Poland, will you give me access just so I can get to this one province? No. But you. You will. Thank you, Mecklenburg. Why don't we send you over? Send you there. So we can get there a little bit sooner. Alright, Mecklenburg, I no longer need access. I appreciate it, though. That's a couple tipple points to get you to do that. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and loot Brandenburg for a little bit. Might as well take the money while everyone else is going to basically win the war for us. Ottomans, who are you fighting? You instantly declared war in Venice. Wow, what a guy. Let's go for that staff cost reduction. And gives us infantry combat ability, which is very potent. Lose legitimacy. Oh, the juicy is already tanked. I don't think that matters anymore. We can gain legitimacy. No, I'll go ahead and gain legitimacy. I think that'll be nice. We are gaining almost three decades just from looting. I know. Keep that army in uh, Berlin. Just in case an army comes to the north, go ahead and consolidate the deck.
And with the Brandenburg not in the war, it certainly gets way easier. Lose 100 Diplo power. No biggie. You actually managed to for somehow get an army. Are you at war with someone else? No. How'd you actually manage to field an army? Oh, here comes Hungary. But that's the end of the Siege of Berlin. Alright, Brandenburg. Force you to release a province. Not that interested. Can't for oh, I don't want to force you as a vassal. Oh, you have Ansbach. You can keep it, honestly. No, I don't particularly care. You're going to give me money, war reps, and give me your trade power, honestly. I need money right now. We all get black flagged. Hungary did not. You can walk around in there, but I cannot. Let's see how it is, Hungary. Well, we're just going to go ahead and go south. Lithuania is being a nuisance to us. Yeah, look at you guys all run away. Cowards. Croatia is being sieged down, though. Oh. Well, you are our ally, but... You're not doing so hot. Let's go and split the army in half. Send a little bit north, so we can go ahead and get a new leader. One, two, three. Should be fine. We're just going to do a little bit of sieging. Is this Hungarian army, which could pose a threat to us. So we're going to keep our armies close to one another. They don't necessarily need to be on top of each other. I would like to hit you in the fort, but you, you are not on black flagged. What do you actually have a rebellion? Oh, a nitra here. Is that just because it's the wrong, uh, it's not an accepted culture? Well, Silesia can definitely be a uh, accepted culture. Oh, is. oh, yeah, we'll go ahead and repay a loan. There we go. Now we're making a little bit more money. 0.61 ducats. Go and repay that loan as well. Pest is still occupied, or being occupied. Still looting, which is also nice. What is the negative from? Because you still control past this negative 8.8. .8. And yeah, and then our one of the allies in the war is not doing so doing so hot. We honestly need a fort up here. Yeah, he's already pieced out. Not lose any land though. Which is good. Kate stack from Hungary, just being a little nuisance. Just running around. Looks like it has way too much cav though. There is an artillery piece there. I don't really want to lose the uh, decades. Go ahead and smack this AK stack. Definitely not supposed to be here. See, so pest is over. Can we get a stack wipe? Yes, we can. There goes 30 ducats. Right down the drain. Ottomans are beating up Venice. Just not awesome or stellar. Alright, you guys are going there. Cancel everything. You go there. And then you stay there. There we go. Go to the next province over. Nitra is rebelling. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. Are you sending one piece of artillery into my infantry? Yep. Did stack wipe the, the, the cannon. Alright, Hungry, the only thing I want is... A union with Hungary. Ooh, we got lots of negative opinion reasons there. Guess we'll go ahead and have to take this fort. 
Venice is bringing a thousand troops to the north. Sure, Ottomans, you can have access. I don't mind. Looks like we're gonna have to form up the army real quick. 412 air, that's not bad. Yeah, the army definitely needs to come together. How much artillery do you have? Just one? I'll go ahead and lose the depot point since we are going for an admin idea group right now. Smack the Hungarians on top of our fort. Not a stack wipe. And then we'll go ahead and fight in our mountain fort. Very defensive terrain for us. There we go. We'll go ahead and get our, uh, our province back because of our fort. We do have some lazy... Uh, Currently, let's go ahead and keep the Ottomans happy. Malachia has some problems. That's why they haven't really assisted us in this war. Oh, look, Venice is actually helping us. Thank you, Venice. Lost a claim on a province. Sure. Don't particularly want to take that mountain fort. And we'll just come down here to Hungary. Malachia peaced out. No biggie. Caused everyone to be black flagged. And you died. You're no longer our dynasty. Because the pretender, pretender rebels won. Do you still have a Venice in the war? I don't know how helpful they will be. Especially when the Ottomans are doing that to them. So the moment we peace out here with Hungary, Venice, we'll probably get called in in a defensive war. Because who'd you attack? Oh, you attacked Albania. We will not be called in then. Okay. We've renewed alone. Not a big deal. Getting more of our carpet sieging done. First or third idea group, missionary strength, plus three. I think we can go ahead and wait for our corruption to tick down a little bit more. Not that big of a deal. They give 23 reasons. Go ahead and start with Croatia. There is a little bit of a siege race going on. Do we have anyone with military leader with uh, siege whips? We do not. And suddenly Ragusa is ginormous. <laughs> Give us a new leader. 133, three, that's alright. It's not quite what we're looking for, but. Go ahead and keep looting. Negative 27 reasons for peace. Do we even have a coalition that would spawn? No, no coalition. Fantastic. Might lose a fort. We did lose a fort, that sucks. Sorry, right, we'll resolve that once we go to the north. There's this fort. Go and form up. And now we go ahead and march north. Is that negative 16 reasons? Just pose a threat. Apparently we're not threatening enough. I'm back from the Ottomans. Can I take military tech? There are military tech 7 as well. Probably do a little siege race here. Let's go ahead and build up our spy network against Hungary. It'll help with our sieges in the future. Probably should have done that a little bit earlier. Alright, they are winning the siege race, which is not good. Yeah, we can't lose our capital. Negative nine reasons. It takes more than nine months for them to actually take that. Ah, the water shortage kind of ends it. Venice, can you attach to me? Kind of have to go in. Cannot lose Prague itself. 
Big win. Lose the legitimate system. Okay. It's not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Continue going after the Hungarian troops. They're the real threat. Actually, they'll accept. Go ahead. Take that. Got a personal union over Croatia. Personal union over Hungary. I believe we should have another march as well. Yeah, Wallachia is a march. Go ahead and prove, prove with... Uh, you're actually still a march under Hungary. So we don't have to pay for that. That's awesome. Hungary is incredibly disloyal. Because they have low trust. Diplo rep is low and better Diplo technology than us. Yeah, we're a little ways behind on that. But that is a Hungarian union. Oh, actually, we have to go to war with the Ottomans to get this one province back. Moldavia has now been designated as a vassal against their own. I mean, we still don't have to pay for that, so I'm totally okay with that. Improve relations minus 20%. That hurts. That really hurts. <laughs> uh, the state definitely needs money at the moment. Croatia, you're kind of disloyal. Did we really just die? Tell oh no, they inherited the Croatia. Perfect. Okay, that's not nearly as bad. I was like, did, did we just die and lose both immediately? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I mean, you're underneath hungry, so I don't particularly care. You'll get annexed by them eventually. Let's see, so we're four out of four. And we can take a rival. Could go ahead and rival Austria. Just be fun to do that. Hungary, where do you have claims currently? You have cores, you have claims on Wallachia, you have claims on Poland though. You really don't have that many troops anymore. You got 11k. It's useful, but not that useful. Savoy is getting ready to die. Oh, I will be right back. Give me one moment. And through the power of editing, I am back. Uh, my fiance. Um, she's come back from her little trip that she took this weekend, so exciting. She just wanted to have a quick talk, make sure everything's going okay. And well, since we're finally at peace, we're going to go ahead and seize land from the estates, get us above 60%. And now we get 10% additional tax, and we get yearly absolutism now. Is that monthly? No, it's yearly. Okay, cool. Family kin, extra 10 diplo points. Sure. Small drop in the bucket. Don't need to continue to fabricate claims or build our spy network on Hungary. Let's go ahead and send it over to Poland. Because they'll be the next person we try and wrangle in. Uh, we definitely need to increase our, uh, our overall strength because right now they're very disloyal. Relative power to Bohemia. I only have 12 and a half, but I also can't see what Moldavia has. So, we're up to Force Limit of 30, though. That's pretty nice. Going back from Wallachia. Hey, Austria. Please don't be angry with us. I don't even know why you're a valid rival. Let's just go ahead and rival Austria. Get that done and over with. We've renewed a loan. We have the Humiliate CV on Austria, which, I mean... We definitely want to do, we can definitely gain from humiliating them. The Ottomans would not join. They have 852 ducats worth of debt. And Venice lost a lot of their clay. Corfu is gone. Uh, these, this islands are, these islands are gone. They still have Crete though. Good center of trade. Do we currently have a, uh, what is this? I don't have eight base tax. Prague. Yeah, done. Give us that 822 manpower. Small drop in our bucket. Shared interest has a 20% chance to actually give us an extra admin point. 
that's for our air. Didn't get it. We got the, uh, the admin points. Corruption's almost gone. So that'll save us a little bit. We gotta wait one more year. Sure. Give us 10 prestige. We can show them one province. I think that's well worth our, uh, our little expenditure there. Giving them maps. 416 ducats to go ahead and embrace the institution, which honestly would probably help quite a bit. Gonna go for national tax. Let me go ahead and do another diet. Now a church, manpower at least 50, that's not happening. Let's go for a trade depot. We can at least do that. Walgost has migrated over to Danzig. It's kind of funny how they've moved. And our Diplo rep is pretty low. A site ruler and legitimacy is low. Yeah, all those things will do it. Honestly, we can probably go ahead and repay another loan. Now we're only 250 ducats in debt, but we are uh, making a pretty nice income. 3.66 ducats. Gain a claim, sure. Where's this claim? Oh, it's on Austria. Probably not gonna push it anytime soon. Corruption is gone, so we actually that's making even more money, which is nice. It's gonna take two more ideas. Working towards uh, national unrest reduction. This needs to go back to Hungary in order for us to actually yeah give us the, give us the 67 ducats. So that way we can actually finish our mission for conquering Nitra for the Hungarian Union. Subject, you're disloyal. Hungary, you're also pretty disloyal. I think we can improve relations with you a little bit more. Oh, we're still doing that. We were caught against Poland. Hmm, who do you actually really want to improve with then? France? France might be a good option. You don't like Austria either. But who really doesn't like Poland? Poland is still allied to Muscovy. Kind of, oh well, I guess Denmark ate all of Novgorod. Actually Novgorod still exists. They're little two provinces now. That's ready to go and repay another, yet another loan. Whole six ducats a month now. It's a cold piece of artillery that we could have. Uh, Stetton. Do you actually take a royal marriage? You're a uh, potential PU. Let's wait and have it. Let's go for the prestige. Manpower would have been nice, but that's not necessary. Getting. F Burgundy. Are we going to get a Duke of Burgundy tries to join the Empire or something like that? Everyone's voting for Austria. We are currently the only heretic. Hopefully we're causing issues for Poland. Do have positive prestige. We got 16. You're probably not going to be taken down anytime soon. Trust is down. Opinion. Get ready to go positive, but our Diplo rep isn't going to be great. So our relative power is always going to be above 100. Could honestly just go ahead and can't actually convert you until your lib desire is below 50. Hmm. You're at 99 now. Maintain our diplomat with Hungary. No diplomats to send. We're the only ally of of the Ottomans, who is not Sunni. France, you're not very likely. Why is that? Army strength is low. Neutral attitude, and France has too many Diplo rep. Relations. Yeah, forward to glory. Gives that, uh, you the army tradition. We're slowly gaining. Gives that mercantilism as well. It'll bode well for us. As time goes on, Hungary is getting more and more loyal. 
What's current combat with? 24, so our army is still perfect in that regard. Go and build two artillery pieces. They'll cut into our income, but it'll make us a little bit stronger. Next idea for yearly prestige, and the reduction of unrest is great. Austria has been elected once more, and the Reformation is probably getting ready to, uh, to advance here. It's not allowed to convert to another religion. Fair enough. Wait, Stetton actually declared war on Brandenburg? Uh-oh. Brandenburg's too weak now. They can't stand on their own two feet. Well, they are only allied to Gulstar. We did stack wipe them. Oh, right, you're at war with Burgundy. Yeah, we can't fight that, honestly. <laughs> Venice is 2,000 ducats in debt. The Ottomans are 850 ducats in debt. And Wallachia is too friendly with them, so. Poses all kinds of issues. Austria is 21 without an heir. It's just an Austrian noble. Out of all of these, no one's going to get a PU on you. How very fortunate. I would like to contest it. Our army reformer has passed on. I might go for a couple extra ducats. And uh, just make our army a little bit cheaper. Go ahead and support rebels inside. It's a little expensive, but go ahead and come back from, from Stetton. You still don't have an heir, you're 68. You will not take a marriage, though. Darn. Wow, we really don't like them. <laughs> we don't like a lot of people. Uh, the re reformed is enabled. What do we get? Diplo rep, missionary strength. Yep. Glorious. 50 prestige is awesome. Advancement of the merchant class. Hungary is getting more and more loyal. Definitely do need to take Diplotech. I think we'll go ahead and save up for the next institution though. 324 ducats. Lost a claim on a little bit of Brandenburg. Not too big of a deal. Advisor cost reduction. No thanks. Leader cost. Ability equilibrium. Or administrative free policy. That's way better. Brittany is 27 with no air. They're two province minor at this point. Alrighty, well that oh Brandenburg just died too. How does you die? Just a Brandenburgian noble succeeds. Gotcha. Well, that's all the time I have for today. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.